just showing certain body parts to sell certain things. Their face will be cut off or they'll just show their midsection. I mean, another thing that really riles me up about eating disorders and how they're how they're perceived, and especially along gender lines, along the whole spectrum of genders, is how you know women in society, in our society, it's still a patriarchal society. Misogyny is rampant. Sexism is still rampant. Yes, maybe it's getting better, but it's still really there. And particularly, we can see it in the objectification of women as and as objects in advertising and media. You could make an argument to say that this is violence against women because you're 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 convincing women to commit this this emotional violence against themselves by telling them that they're not good enough and so and that they have to look a certain way and that what they have to say is never going to be good enough as what a man has to say but if it's to even compete with that then only if you're young, you're pretty, and you're thin. The legacy of, of male attitudes has been to, to sexualize women. And the, the frankness of, of having a dialogue around, you know, being a male, but being comfortable with, you know, all different types of body sizes and not, you know, buying into this over-sexualized environment. The story is that we end up objectifying ourselves in the face of the male gaze, the male gaze of society. It's hard to be a girl in this world and want to have the right to be pretty and dress up and put on high heels or feel sexy um, without having that turn into this misconstrued message that you're doing it for the general male population. The objectification of women is is but one root of how we're seeing the blossoming of eating disorders coming out. I mean, of course, there's a correlation. You're never thin enough. Size zero actually being nothing. I think what's portrayed is that when you're thin, you will be happy. And, and in an eating disorder mindset, you're never thin enough. I remember reading something once about size zero actually being nothing that it's actually the absence of something. Zero means that there isn't anything there. And yet somehow that's become something that we aspire to as women in our culture, to, to take up less space, to be less of something, ironically, to actually become more valuable, to be more of something, to feel like we matter. I think that weight stigma is something that affects people of all genders, um, men, women, and people who identify as another gender. And recently there has been a push to have a more diverse range of bodies represented. So we've seen a little bit of a shift in terms of the culture in the media to represent plus size bodies, for example. You put a plus size model on something that doesn't mean you actually support this healthy living. And I think that that's what we need to get to and corporations need to support that, government need to support that. It's so a thing to be thin nowadays and it's, it's, it's not really fair to people that aren't. <laughs> you see, women tearing down other women, and you see women tearing themselves down. The change really is with us as women. At the end of the day, we're the ones looking in the mirror, telling ourselves that we're not good enough. And I think that as women, we really need to remember that when we look at ourselves in the mirror and we're, we're at a change room with our, our girlfriend and we say, oh, you know, darn it, I don't like my thighs and these pants, I'm in turn saying that to my girlfriend as well. I'm in turn saying that to my daughter when she sees me change my clothes four times in the morning because I feel like I look too heavy in this or that. You see women tearing down other women and you see um, women tearing themselves down and you see men tearing women down and where's it gonna stop? We've gone away from the belief that who we are is like a, a bright, vivid, wonderful creature. And we've gone away from that to turn into, we need to create ourselves to be okay enough, let alone good enough, maybe one day we'll be wonderful, question mark. That's a problem.